All right, welcome back again. Uh, that last one's kind of grueling, so we'll try to keep this one pretty light. Uh, really what we want to do is we want to show you some vocab words between finite state machines and a quick little example. Uh, the vocab words you'll hear around finite state machines are mealy and more. So a mealy machine is one type of finite state machine, and a more is a different type of finite state machine, except for they're very, very similar. Um, the difference is simple. Everything you've been doing so far is what's called a more machine. A more machine, the outputs are solely determined by the current state, right? So like if you've got a state, you know what the outputs are in that state. A mealy machine is everything a more machine is plus a little bit more, and that is that the outputs are a combination of the current inputs and the current state. Um, very small distinction, I know. Uh, but it's very handy, um, and to be honest, I just, as soon as I need something to be based on the inputs, I add it, and then technically it just moved from a more finite state machine to a mealy finite state machine. So the difference doesn't really matter, but I don't know, somebody might ask you about these terms, so I'm gonna tell you what they are, and that's what they are. The example we're gonna do is uh, a children's toy. So a children's toy, you know, you turn it on, it's in one state, you can interact with buttons and things, um, and then you turn it off, it's in a different state. Um, obviously that on state the outputs depend not only the fact that it's on, but what you're hitting uh, while it's on. So we're going to do a little toy piano. Uh, the toy piano that we're going to mimic um, has three inputs, uh, I1, I2, and I3. Uh, the inputs are the power button. Uh, you know, you press it, it turns on. You press it again, it turns off. It's actually trickier than it sounds, right? We have one button. It's not a slider. It's just a button. Um, and it's going to be the power for on and off. You have another button for playing a song, um, and then you would have, you know, 88 keys, right? So instead of having 88 keys, we're going to make one key, because if you can make one, then you can make 88. So we're going to have one piano key. Um, most kids' pianos have this song feature. It's just something you kind of expect. You hit the button and it plays some song. Uh, there's going to be a couple timers. Um, I added a five-second timer for the song duration. Right? So there's going to be a five second timer for the song. And then there's three outputs. There's one for like a little power LED, like is this thing in the on state? Um, am I playing the song um, or am I playing the single note for that key? Obviously we would need a lot of outputs for the notes, but we only have one piano key for this example. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make the finite state machine for you because it's pretty easy. Uh, so this finite state machine has two states. Uh, it's got when the system is off uh, and when the system is on. Really nice thing, when there's only two states uh, that you have to transition between, you don't need a whole bunch of markers, right? Um, you really just need one marker and it's either off or it's on. Um, and the reason we had to do it more complex before is because it would have been really annoying to know like which ones were off all the time and which ones were on. It was easier just to have one on, but we only have two states. Why not make use of binary, right? So there's an off and then there's an on, um, and you only have one marker. The other nice thing is that your reset you're going to get for free now because you're going to start with all the markers off, so you're going to get that line that line for free. So it's kind of like, you know, you've implemented that already. <laughs> you haven't even opened the program yet, but you've implemented that. Things on this that are going to be tricky. Um, so I1 turns it on, but notice that I1 also turns it off. This you have to be careful about, right? Because if you were to implement it the way we've been doing so far and you were to just hold it down, it would just shoot to on, and then while you're holding it down, it would shoot to off, and on, off, on, off, on, off. It would just go really, really fast. Fortunately, PicoSoft has dealt with this problem, right? And they have a way to, to check for edges um, and then to do something on the edge um, instead of when you just hold it down. We'll get to that. As far as the uh, the different states, uh, there's the LED that just shows that it's on. It's the LED's on whenever you're in this state. So that's kind of very Moorish, right? So very much like things we've done before. And then there's two things that are very Mealy-ish. Uh, so the Mealy's. The way you draw something that's a Mealy, so it's a state and an input, is with a colon. So here we're going to say, we'll do the key one first, right? So the key, if, if I3 is being pressed, uh, then Q3 is on. 
as soon as I let off of it, Q3 turns off. It's easy, right? And the way you show that is with a, a simple colon, right? And so that's the if statement. The song is just a little bit harder. It actually has two, which I've chosen to put on the same line. They could have been on separate lines, doesn't matter. The first one is if we have an I2, we're gonna control a timer. Um, here I called it timer two, but really could use timer one. I just like the I2, T2 thing, doesn't really matter. Um, and then if timer two is on, then it's gonna control Q2. Um, so the idea is you press this button um, and then it doesn't go off when you let go of the button. It just stays on for bonus time. Um, and if it stays on for bonus time, it controls that cue. We don't do anything at the end. We're, we're not exiting the state when it's done. It just comes low. Um, hopefully there are enough keywords in that that made you think that this should be an off delay we don't want to do anything at the end we just want some bonus time it's not like it's kicking us out of a state um, and so these are going to be our various outputs uh, so let's go implement this guy so fire up picosoft if you've got anything open you can save it oh yeah i've got my bionic commando i need that for the quiz tomorrow uh, and then you can open up a new one and this one will be short we'll just do it live um, so we've got a circuit diagram First thing we have to deal with is that um, I1 um, turning on and off um, marker one. Turns out that an impulse relay is exactly what we want, right? So an impulse relay, what it does is when you hit it, it changes state. Um, so it finds the edge for us, which is one thing we wanted. And it actually does even more because that's exactly what we want. When we press it, we want it to turn marker one on. When we press it again, we want it to turn it off. Um, so this is really neat in that it implements uh, two different transitions for us. It implements the arrow going over and the arrow coming back. Um, so quite a bit done right there. If we're in marker one, uh, then we want to control Q1. So Q1 is my power LED. And that's just like more machines that we've done before. And then some of the new stuff... Um, I will go ahead and do it in order, it's not that hard. If we're in marker one, and we see an I2, and I2 is my uh, song button, if that happens, then I want to control a timer. Um, in my finite state machine, I called it timer two for no reason, uh, song interval. If I had it to do again, I probably would have made that a T1, but what you're gonna do? Uh, I got to pick the length of my song. I forgot how long I said I was going to make it. I'll just say it's a five second uh, off delay because I want that bonus time to stay on for longer. Uh, my song is five seconds, so just stay on. Uh, and then anytime my timer, which I picked timer two for no reason, is on, control Q2, which is play song. And then the last one is quite easy. If I'm in marker one, and I have an I3, which is my piano key. Piano key. Then I want to control Q3, which is play note. Um, so you can see it's really not that different, right? I mean, line rung two is a more, and then lines three, four, five involve a melee machine where the output is dependent not just on the state, uh, but also on some input. Very little distinction. Let's go see if it works. Uh, for this guy, I want them all normally opens. That's great. And I want to display, uh, what the heck, I'll just display my cues. And I'm gonna hit play. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit I1 to turn the system on. So you can see that my, my power LED is on. Uh, if I hit I1 again, uh, the system turns off. Uh, hit I1 again, turns on. Hit I2, that should play my song. Uh, my song goes for five seconds. Uh, then my song will turn off. Great. And if I hit I3, it's like a note, so it's like, duh. And then as soon as you let off, I mean, it's just kind of like a piano key. Duh. If I hit I1 to turn my system off, uh, you can see that my buttons do nothing, right? So my I2, you don't have to worry about it playing a song when it's off. Um, and I3 doesn't play any notes while it's off as well. 
All right, so that's kind of it. You should hopefully have all the skills you need for the PLC Finite State Machine Lab. See you next time.